What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we are going to dive into the Love Tap. The Love Tap is a mace that does damage to concussion. It does concussion damage, making it a truncheon. It is a legendary truncheon. Now, in order to find this particular item, the Love Tap, what you need to do is kill any of the world bosses that drop you a skeleton key, harvest that skeleton key just like that, and then open their world chest. Now, we didn't get it this time, but it does come out of the legendary chests. Now, before we get into what the Love Tap does, I do want to show you a couple other knockout options, the first of which is the Blunted Javelin. Now, you don't want to do a heavy attack with the Blunted Javelin because you will throw it. Now, the Blunted Javelin has an attack pattern of four hits. So, one, two, three, and four, and that is 41 per hit. Now, it does have quite a bit of stagger, so you are able to stagger your enemy with it and essentially keep them staggered and knock them out. Now, a full combo does 164 concussive damage. However, as you can see, I am missing quite a few of these hits. And if I take the target lock off, it's even worse. So if I take the target lock off and I come over here, let's see how many of these hits I'm going to miss. I didn't miss any that time. And it's probably going to make a liar out of me this time. However, there are just an enormous amount of hits that you can miss with this particular knockout tool. The next one that we're going to test out is Seth's Truncheon. Now Seth's Truncheon, or any Truncheon for that matter, has a combo of three. So one, two, and three, that's a full combo. Start over, one, two, and three. Now, Seth's Truncheon is the best out of the Truncheon category, doing 52 concussive damage per hit. So that's a total of 228 for a full revolution of hits with the truncheon. Now you can see that I am missing hits and I'm not pushing forward, I'm just swinging. I'm not trying to get closer to the target so that's probably why I missed the hits. So 228 if you did let's say two revolutions, that's 456 damage. Now let's look at the love tap. So the love tap can be used with both a light and a heavy attack. So if we do a full set of lights, here we go, one, two, three, and four, you can see we were only doing 31 concussive damage. However, if we switch over to the heavy attack, one, two, three, four, and five, six, we get a total of six hits out of it. Now, one of the things that you have to know about the mace animation is the first swing is a two hit combo. So essentially one going up and one coming down, that's just me clicking the button one time. The other thing that you'll want to take notice of with this truncheon in particular is the fact that it does sunder. So, there we've stacked to Sunder. Now, if you pay attention to the number of concussive damage that we're doing, it's gone up to 64. And now that we have five, it's gone up to 75. So when you're doing the Sunder damage to a target, it actually increases the amount of concussive damage that is going through the armor to the NPC. Now where this is really cool is on horseback. It is the only truncheon that you can actually use on horseback. And if you use the light attacks right off the bat, you're able to stack that sunder very, very quickly. Just remember that every once in a while you want to apply sunder again, you will need to do the light attack and then you can switch back to the heavy attack. Now each one of my heavy attacks is doing 82 in damage to concussion, which is an absolute ton of concussive damage and makes this a really, really effective way to knock out thralls. Additionally, it's really good for your thrall and the reason why is because it's a mace. So you can switch it with any other mace that you have normally, something that you would want to kill an enemy with and you don't have to worry about them slowing down or bugging out and even better from horseback, if we combine these two things, let's go ahead and get a Delincia in yet again. 
And if you combine these two things where you're on horseback and your thrall also is using the love tap, you're gonna stack that very quickly and you'll see that the knockout time is very, very fast. And there we go, we've knocked out yet another Delincia. All right, so many of you probably don't thrall hunt in the volcano. If you do it, you do it alone, you do it solo, or you just totally skip it. Maybe you risk bringing a thrall in here, who knows? But here's what we're gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna bring my horse in here. You can ride your horse, not go in any lava at all. And if you use the same tactic like I showed you before, where you are using the love tap, and just get in on after him here. We're going to just stack enough sunder on everybody so that we have at least five. You can see we've already knocked out both of the devotees there. And now that we've stacked enough sunder, we can just switch over to the heavy attacks. Now the other thing you can do is heal through the damage that you're taking while you're on horseback. You do not use stamina while you're on the horse either, so you never run out of stamina while you're on the horse. And we have a name there knocked out, and then we'll finish up with said Seeper Keeper, and boom. There you go, that's how quick you could just level this whole section. That guy over there, he didn't even wanna get involved. Let's go pay him a visit and tell him how terrible he is for not helping out his fellow buddies. You should have come over, but boom, there we go. What do we have down here? We can go and knock this guy out as well. And again, you don't have to worry about any of your uh, thralls dying from being down here. You just come down with your horse and just wreck shop on all these guys. That's it, it's super simple. The other thing is that you actually don't even have to get off of your horse in order to rope whatever you are wanting to take back to your base, which I'll show you real quick here. We'll just knock these guys out real quick. Not a big deal. Again, three of them coming after me. Most of the damage is going to the horse's endurance bar and the rest of it I am able to take quite easily. Not a super huge deal. And if you can get both the thralls or multiple thralls on one side, you are getting all of them at the same time because it has a great area of effect. We'll go ahead and heal up through this here and finish this guy off. And then we're going to put him on the rope. It's super simple, all right from the horse. Boom. Oh, come on, dude. Go to bed. Good night. Thank you very much. Okay. And tie him up. And then we just take him back to our base, just like that. You can see he's right there behind us. The other thing with the horse and love tap mix is that you are faster than any NPC, at least human NPC, while on horseback, even if you are not galloping. So at a normal pace for a horse, you are faster than any human NPC. Meaning that if you need to get away, all you have to do is just start moving just normal speed will be fine. Nothing can catch you uh, that's a human while you're moving normal speed on a horse. So I wanna know guys, were you using the love tap before this video? If you weren't, are you going to start using it now? Leave that in the comment section below. That's all I have for this video. The fun doesn't have to end here though. You can check out the other two videos that are coming up on the screen next. And I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button below that says join. That'll give you all the details. I'd like to thank all my subscribers for their continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you get notified when I upload another video.